Good Wednesday afternoon, Western Montana. I'm AJ Mazzolini, and this is the 406, the Missoulians weekday webcast. Here are your top headlines at this hour. Lincoln County Sheriff's Department is scaling back the search for Anthony Bachman, the Missoula man who drowned in the Middle Thompson Lake on Saturday evening. Searchers are no longer using sonar equipment to locate the body. Friends say the 62-year-old man was highly intoxicated when he fell off a moving pontoon boat without a life jacket. Others aboard the boat tried to rescue Bachman, but were unsuccessful. A young girl injured by a wild horse at Wild Horse Island State Park last weekend was treated and released at a Polson hospital. Montana State Park's officials said today the girl suffered minor injuries while hand-feeding fruit to a wild horse on the island. She was treated at St. Joseph Medical Center for the injuries. Fish, Wildlife and Parks maintains a herd of six horses, five mares and a gelding, on the Flathead Lake's largest island. A man injured by a bridge jumper while floating the Clark Fork River last summer now alleges Missoula County was also at fault for his severe injuries. In a lawsuit, Andy Hill contends that Missoula County willfully and wantonly breached its duty to safely construct and maintain the Bandman Bridge in East Missoula. No barriers prevent people from jumping from the bridge and no signs warn floaters of the potential danger from above, Hill says. Missoula County officials say they hope for an amicable resolution with the man. There's a bounty on billionaire Tim Blixess' assets. The trustee representing Montana's Yellowstone Club creditors is offering a reward to anyone who can help uncover assets the luxury resort's co-founder might have hidden from bankruptcy proceedings. Attorney Brian Glasser says the trust will give 10% of the profits of the liquidated assets recovered from Blixess to anyone with information that leads to their discovery. Six-year NFL veteran and former Grizz football player Lex Hilliard is still recovering from a shoulder injury that cost him the 2013 season with the New York Jets, but he's, he's not ready to walk away from the game that he loves. Hilliard says he still hopes to play again, and in the meantime, he's coaching running backs and special teams at Flathead High School in Kalispell. He set the rushing records there in 2000 to 2002. First-year coach Kyle Sampson says that Hilliard's a hero around Kalispell, and he's happy to have the former University of Montana All-American join him on the sidelines. Have a great evening, Western Montana, and check back with us on Missoulian.com for updates and breaking news. And pick up a copy of Thursday morning's print edition of the Missoulian for the most complete local news coverage in Western Montana. I'm AJ Mazzolini, and that's the 406 for Wednesday, August 20th, 2014.